an interview with the subject just before LSD is to be administered. My husband is an employee here at the DA, and he told me that they were looking for normal people, and uh, I volunteered. to me, I've said it to myself, 
what success is going to be like. And oh, what fun it would be. Well, I mean the set of the colors, the design, the beautiful way things appear. People themselves, dull people that I thought dull, appear fascinating, interesting, mysterious, wonderful. But this is only the beginning. Many things this afternoon were taken. Suddenly, you know, that there are these separations. They're not on a separate island shouting across to somebody else and trying to feel up their food and understand. You use the word yourself, empathy. And with that goes such delight. The sober certainty of waking bliss. myself that I didn't know and it, it kind of informs me about my environment and what goes on. What does it tell you about yourself? It tells me what I like. What, what do you like? Well, you know, I can't really explain what I like. It's hard to explain. You see, you had an experience that I haven't had. I'm trying to find out what your experience is like, what it does for you, what it feels like. Well, um, it makes everything a little unreal, you know, everything that is it, it hallucinations project in my mind and uh, everything that I see is, is myself. I mean, it's all coming from my mind and, and all, the, all the things that I see, everything that I see is, is all, I'm, all, I'm making it all. You're controlling everything? Yes. I'm controlling what the scenery looks like about me. I'm not controlling it necessarily, but when it's happening, that's, that's me. That's me happening. How about people? Do you think that uh, before you used the drug, you were afraid of people? Well, I didn't know it at the time, but I realized that I was when I took the drug. Because it brings out your inner feelings more intensely. And why do you think you were afraid of them before? Because I didn't know them. Do you feel that you do 
know them through the drug? No, I don't feel that I know them, but I'm not afraid of being rejected by them. Because I, I don't feel any rejection towards them. I, I used to be constantly thinking about being afraid of them. But now I, I don't have to be afraid anymore because they're all beautiful. And whether they reject me or not, they're still beautiful. Does it ever seem to you that this may be a little unreal? Oh, yes. But I mean, uh, after after you learn this on an acid trip, you practice it when you study too. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't enough, leave you. If everybody is beautiful, then there's no one who's, say, dangerous to you. Oh, but the dangerous people are beautiful too. They're dangerous, sure, but they're still beautiful. Why are you here? Well, it's a long story. But I'll try to break it down in short. I, I found God. And uh, I, I made me feel quite good, you know. And my mother mistook this good feeling for uh, taking drugs. And I was getting kind of wayward and everything. I mean, I wasn't coming home on time. So she phoned the police and I was brought to YGC and then I was brought here. Because of my talking about God and everything, they might have thought that I was a little crazy. Do you think you are? No. But I understand how they felt because I wasn't making myself clear on it. It's very hard to, I was trying to express something that was hard to express and I wasn't really capable of expressing it. I mean, I can have the relationship between myself and God, but I, it's a mistake to try to make other people feel the way I did and that's what I was trying to do. What's God like? Well, first of all, God is everything, so he's like everything. He is everything. There's nothing that, he's, that he isn't like. Is he like a man? Uh, I don't know. Everything, he lives in everything. Everything on this earth. I can't describe to you the feeling that it gives you when your son says to you, can't you feel it? God is everywhere. <laughs>